What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Just a quick video or patch preview of what's coming up. We've already covered the new heroes, um, Arnhe Jin, Popper and Jerry. So we're going to go over what's coming, uh, feature adjustments, that kind of thing and event news. Uh, so obviously the event news is Miracle Wish up heroes from June 9th to 12th. That includes Arnhe Jin, Popper, Alicia, Seth and Melot. It's a really, really good banner actually. Um, Arnhe Jin is amazing, Popper is amazing, uh, but Alicia, Seth and Mella are all good heroes, uh, if you're needing that support hero, definitely go for Seth. Um, new heroes can only be obtained through Nir Miracle Wish for now, after two re weeks they can be obtained through Excellent and Supreme. Uh, Supreme Wish Rate Up event is available for limited time from 13th to 16th, chance of drawing the heroes in Supreme Wish will be increased to 2% during the event, but no one's going to be doing that, not with the news of Nicholas coming. This one's important because I didn't quite state this in the previous video about Nicholas returning. The trio match event is available for a limited time from June 12th to 16th. Nicholas is inside that. Now, there is also, it says more event rewards and a five-star legend hero Nicholas await adventurers now. Um, bear in mind, Nicholas will be in the Excellent and Supreme after Trio Match as well. It's a great chance for you to really push on and get some extra Supreme wishes, as well as that guaranteed Nicholas. Like, that's going to be, I hate to say it, it's probably going to be your cheapest way of guaranteeing that you get a Nicholas. Well, it's the only way to guarantee you're going to get one. So if you're already at E2, you can be like, yes. It's all good. I just need to do my trio match. I have an E3 Nicholas. If you're like me, you have one at E1. Yeah, I'll do trio match. I'll get one E2. And I need to pray that I get one at E3. But hey -ho, that's how it goes. Uh, feature adjustments. Number one, adventurers can now switch heroes' equipment. Huge. Huge. I can just quickly switch my equipment. Thank you so much for that. It's only taken, what, seven months? Eight months? Really? Um, but that's great. It's now in the game. Number two, the experience potions obtained by four level heroes through challenging stages are equal to the experience obtained. This is good as well. Number three, added a only heroes who don't have the max number of emblem chapters. Checkbox to the battle preparation screen in emblem challenge. So you can say, okay, I just want auto select heroes for my emblems and um, who haven't got the max because some of us do have so many heroes. Now we have to go through each one to find the one. And yeah, so if you don't have them, then it will auto select that. Number four, added a refined rune shard checkbox to quick purchase in the currency store. That was needed as well. That was a little bit annoying. Number five, adjusted complete all the daily quests for 10 days to complete all the daily quests for seven days in advanced quests. That is also a very good change. Number six, added a weekly card login progress bar and the level is displayed as well. Okay. Okay, but that's good. That's good, right? And it, it, I think it's a good change. I think it's a good change. It, it must be. All right. Number seven. Optimize chat system notification settings. I don't even use a chat system. I don't even use a chat system. Might not be interesting to what they changed. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that was just a quick view on it. And um, some good changes there. Some good changes there. So I'll see all of you on the next video. Take care. Have a fantastic day. Even wherever you are. Goodbye.